Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, this was a question I got on stream, which is, what is that weird syntax with less than, less than EOF? Uh, so let's explain that. So in every language that I've worked in that has this feature, they're called here docs. I don't know why they're called that, but that's what I've heard them referred to as. Um, but what they allow you to do is input a multi-line string. So let me just show you an example where we're using a file and we're counting the number of, I don't know, lines in a file. Uh, so we'll open a file called t and foo bar baz or whatever. There's this cool program uh, in, you know, I think it's in core utils, debagger switch, what do you see? Yeah, it's in core utils, uh, so that should be on pretty much any Unix-based operating system. And you can pass it a file name and it will tell you how many lines are in that file with wc-l. You can also pass that file name as standard input, which is done with just one less than. Um, you can see it will also print out the number of lines here, but in this case, it doesn't know the file name, so it doesn't print any file name after that. But that's wc-l. Uh, you can also pass input to it. So if you pass foo to wc-l, you'll see that's one line. Um, if you use bling strings, which I did a video on that, so I'll link the bling strings in the description, you can do this. And you can see we've added a new new line in here because we've you know, <laughs> made this two lines with a new line. And so it'll say there are two lines here. Uh, you can also pass in a string via the triple arrow, which I also did a video on. I'll link that in the description as well. Uh, but those are not what we're talking about today. We're talking about this weird thing, which is less than less than EOF. And what this lets you do is it lets you type a multi-line string input to this program. Um, so you don't have to use, you know, bling strings to put a, a backslash n in there, or you don't have to write out a file to do this. Um, and when I press enter here, you'll see it's given me this weird greater than symbol and it's allowing me to type more here. So, you know, I could type foo bar baz. Um, and the way that it knows when to end is you use the exact same string that it has here. So EOF, I will type that again. Um, conventionally, I've seen people use EOF a lot here because EOF stands for end of file. However, you could put whatever you want there. You know, you could put Anthony, <laughs> ooh, bar, baz, flat, Anthony, and it will, it will match whatever string you've got here to the end of this. And so you can use this to pass multi-line strings to things. Now, of course, WC-L is probably a really silly example, but you could imagine this for any other program which takes input by, uh, via standard in. But hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.